Giraffe Avenue is a clothing brand created by Matilda Giraffe, a content creator from Sweden back in 2019. Today, we are going to audit its socials to help us understand how the brand succeeded in building a strong community in a record time. Let's start by talking about what sets the brand apart on social media. Jerf Avenue can be summed up in the simple brand mission. Community first, close second. For a winning social strategy, small businesses should focus on three pillars. These sets of topics are extremely crucial for creating meaningful content. Now let's discuss the branding aesthetics of Djerf Avenue. Following the choice of her three pillars, we see a lot of neutral shades, toddlers-inspired colors and earthy tones in her clothes, but also in her content and environment, and also occasionally some handwritten effects, doodling notes with an unpolished or unfinished style to fit the handmade feeling of the brand. Now we are ready to deep analyze the brand's most performing content. And yes, we will discuss the underperforming posts as well. Because we need to learn from the good and the bad too. We also notice that any content involving the founder of the brand is more likely to go viral and get tons of engagement and interest. So don't hesitate to occasionally put yourself at the front of your business. If faceless content is your thing, then get inspired by the brand's signature poses. They are quite famous and massively copied out. They are by far the most liked static posts on its Instagram account.
A breezy summer for me is baking summer cakes. on our blazers can actually be open because they are real pockets they are just stitched together when they are delivered to you so to open the pockets I would use a little scissor and open them up like this so to open up the pocket I would go here and there is a little opening on all blazers where you can just start to either pull them up by hand or you can use a little scissor then you have an open pocket where you can pick out the threads, just like a functional regular pocket. And it's the same up here on the breast pocket where you can start to open up the stitches. If you don't have a small scissors at hand, you can also just open them up like this. If you think that Jerk Avenue is just for the 20-something year olds, well, think again because here we are in our daily tank forever blazers and favorite pants proving once again that Jerf Avenue and style have no age. While it's very hard to know exactly why a post underperformed, there are some signs that are somehow very telling. When we look at these images, we get a certain feeling that they don't belong well into the branding aesthetic of DJRF Avenue. They are quite basic, cold, or even overstaged, which is maybe why they didn't get half the love other signature posts got. Here we have some low views reels on the brand's Instagram. Our interpretation is that maybe the topics are irrelevant to the community, or that the scenery is just basic and uninspiring, or maybe the absence of hooks and text makes people scroll up. Did you know that the longer the watch time, the more likely the algorithm will push your content? One way to increase it is by adding hooks and or texts to your reels to keep viewers longer. Reels are not the only way to grow on Instagram. In order to reach more people, small businesses should find a balance between static posts, slideshows, and reels. The growth of the brand is driven by the popularity of its founder. Matilda represents the muse and ideal client of her own brand. Every time she shows herself in her brand socials, the community gets excited. 
Instead of creating content about your products equals commodity, think about how you can create a community with a common interest around your products. Example, for a bridal brand, start a community of future brides around tips hacks to plan the best wedding ever, and then you start selling your amazing bridal dresses and services.